Welcome to another He Said, She Said, and this is number five, baby, Yay. five. Can you believe it already? I'm here with wonderful Denise, and before we get started, for those that do not know me, my name is Ronald Johnson, and what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. I'm a mindfulness coach, so if you need more happiness in your life, relationships, and career, this is where I can help you. And Denise, take it away. <laughs> well, good morning, Ron, and I'm happy we're here for number five. Love it. Um, I'm Denise Lewis, and I have a business called GrandSlamCoaching.com. Uh, I want to make every day a Grand Slam day for you, and I work with performance coaching, uh, be it in the court, courtroom, boardroom, classroom, athletic field, wherever it is, every day you're showing up somewhere you want to give your best performance ever. So come follow me at GrandSlamCoaching.com. And I'm really excited that after last week's kind of heavy week, yes, we're going to do a Grand Slam today. And we're going to talk about Valentine's Day. Woo! <laughs> How many more days do I got left? Okay, I got today's the fourth. I got 10 more days. So 10, ten more days. days to either one, book the restaurant I'm about to eat, two, order roses that get super expensive. Yeah, order roses. Three, go buy a Safeway because it's a hell of a lot cheaper there than 100flowers.com. Yeah. Four, pick out a gift. Five, figure out, do I need to do anything? Maybe maybe at that age where it's like, okay, we've been married for 100 years. I don't think we've been married that long. <laughs> but just the <laughs> idea. We've been married 100 years and, man, I love her, okay? I don't need to do nothing else. Uh, so that's what we're talking about Valentine's Day because what's, I mean, with the new situation with COVID going on, I'm quite sure a lot of people are single or a mm -hmm. lot of people just says, look, why ain't going anywhere? Because we don't know what's open, right? So you point to yourself, yep. so you're single, but you may have something in the hopper, right? Maybe get two or three gifts. You never, never know. <laughs> I've got a couple things in the hopper. Absolutely. Um, you know, cause I do, cause I can kiss as many men as I want at one time. Oh, you have to yeah. Once you sleep with one, you have to finish that before you get to another. But I can kiss as many men as one time. And if any of you, either of you are hearing this, it's nothing personal. You know, I'm not hedging my bets or anything. It's just, I enjoy all of both of your company, you know. I put my bets on you because you're going to hit it out the park. So I'm, I'm betting on you. All bets on you. And Super Bowl is coming. So I got to place two bets on a Super Bowl and a bet on you. <laughs> oh my, thank you, Ron. Oh, you are my just my best, most beautiful, bald-headed friend ever. Thanks for betting on me. Yes, it is Super Bowl this Sunday. I'm rooting for the Chiefs. I, uh, I love Patrick Mahomes. I think he's a stand-up guy. I think he's got good morals. He's a good moral compass, and he's a good leader, and I hope he does a repeat. Um, and then next Sunday, the 14th, uh, again, is Valentine's Day, and you know, we single people, I don't know, we'll find out what happens. But uh, meanwhile, when I work at Safeway and check people out with their dinners that they're going to make at home and all their flowers, all I can do is wish them well and breathe the aroma of the flowers, you know, and get my fix that way. Okay, so let's let's do this here. I want to play a little game. Okay. So if you do not know, sorry, if you have a budget and mm -hmm. the budget is zero, I mean, it's yep. zero. What would you do for Valentine's? Would you say, screw it, better luck next time? How would you do it if you had zero budget, Denise? Uh, zero budget actually makes it a lot more fun and a lot more from the heart. Um, first of all, I'd make a card, which is not that hard to do. Even if you don't have to worry about a whole, if you have glitter glue, even if you take the colored sugar that you decorated the Christmas cookies with and a little spray glue and you know whatever i mean you can you can make it work okay because it's an expression from your heart you know that i love you i care about you i'm to me every day should be valentine's day but on this day make a card make cookies make a cake make muffins cupcakes whatever you've got and just find a way to just get the ingredients to make the favorite meal that's all it is because it's showing i'm showing my partner i'm thinking enough about you that if you want something like eggs benedict and you don't get to have it terribly often or you want steak with bernet sauce you don't we can't do it very often i'm gonna find a way to make that happen um and you can you know it doesn't matter if they're glade scented candles or little stubs of take all your little stubby candles 
you know, that you say, oh, I'm never going to use them again. Just line them up and light them up and have a good time. Um, and getting one flower is way more impressive and way more moving than a bunch of flowers. You know, you get me a good, the, those kind of uh, DIY do-it-yourself, which you could do, get small little candles, you melt yeah. them all down, you get a small piece of wick, put it in one big one and make one big long wick and there you go, you got a candle to go. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I you, take that, you take that, you take that, well, you can't do it with a, a mayonnaise jar because most of them are plastic, but if you have a glass jar from spaghetti sauce, for example, Great idea. You can take all take all those candle stubs, put them in that spaghetti jar, put it in the microwave, nuke the daylights out of it. Now you've got all these pretty colors. All you, you're right, Ron. All you need is one wick okay. from you know bottom what? to top. You didn't catch it. You predated yourself. Those that are years ago, everything on this shelf used to be glass, including your mayonnaise. If you don't know that. Yeah. Oh, no, I do know that. I do know that. <laughs> I, I spent years in advertising doing the fast moving consumer goods. And now that I work at Safeway, yes, there are some that are still glass. A lot have moved to plastic. plastic. Um, mayonnaise came to mind because I just cleaned out my mayonnaise jar to put in the recycling. But OK, so you could take you could take a tall taper that's perfectly brand new, anchor it to the bottom, have it up at the top. There's your wick. Put all the other stubs around it. Nuke it in the microwave. Make the big one. Boom, you're done. You got a candle, got a big candle. So if you have zero budget, mm -hmm. you can find a little big candles you have around your house if you have any. Okay, mm -hmm. you could also make dinner. What if, what if you're not a chef boy or D? What if you don't make dinner? I guess you YouTube it. I guess look it up online. You know you can YouTube it, but you know it is February. It's cold. When was the last time you had grilled cheese and tomato soup? And how yummy does that sound? I don't think I would have that. That doesn't sound very yummy to me. I think a grilled cheese sandwich sounds yummy. I just don't know about tomato soup. Okay, well, you're just weird, and I love you anyway. <laughs> um, well, I mean, think, think of comfort foods that your mom made when you were a kid. Um, something that something that's, makes you happy. Um, grilled ham, cheese, and tomato sandwich makes me happy. Maybe put it on Texas toast so it's a little thicker as opposed to the really thin stuff that falls apart. Um, you know, bacon and eggs. There's nothing wrong with breakfast for dinner. Um, a, a thing that a lot of people have been doing in the last week, which I've noticed um, a lot of my customers, the frozen waffles, they now have the fluffy kind and they've just been buying whipped cream, strawberries, berries, getting the caramel sauce, getting the chocolate sauce and boom, they're having dessert for dinner. Interesting. I didn't think about that. Yeah. So now you've got this wonderful waffle a la mode thing um that's fun that's exciting if you look at the different um ice cream flavors they have um unicorn poop always a fun one they have birthday cake i mean they've got all sorts of different flavors um and if you go to the end caps you know the end of the aisles that's where the 50 percent stuff is and okay, that's where yeah. all the half -off stuff is you know so and just you that close by safeway always go to the end caps that's where you save the most money so i'm thinking right yeah. now i'm getting hungry i got Waffles, warm up in the uh -huh. microwave oven, boom. I get some whipped cream, mm -hmm. I get some strawberries, yeah. and I have myself a dessert. So pretty much I can go get two Texas toasts, mm -hmm. cheese, boom, yep. there, there you go, you got your dinner. I can now get also two thick waffles, whipped cream, strawberries, and Hershey's chocolate, mm -hmm. and sprinkle around on top. But for me, yeah. I love the crunch. I probably put a little sprinkles of nuts or chocolate. Absolutely. I mean, look at what you have in look at what you have in your pantry. How many times have you used chocolate chips for something and you've got that little bit of the packet left? You know, you everybody's can, done that. You can do. You know, we just had Christmas. I just bought. I got for free one of those little um, things. Instead of the red and the green sugar, it had the gold and the silver and the little non pearls and stuff. Who cares if it's gold and silver? Throw right. it on there, make it look nice, make it look sparkly. Um, another thing you could do, um, you know, is grilled cheese. Let's face it, bacon makes everything better. Mm. Don't it with bacon, that may work. So mac and cheese, throw in some bacon, chop it all up, throw in some bacon, it's great. That sounds, I want that. 
Yeah. Send me a recipe. Send me a recipe. Oh my God. <laughs> Box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. You do the bacon, you dry it off, you chop it up, boom, you stir it up, you got bacon, mac and cheese. Or Annie's, joking. or Annie's, whatever you want to do. I don't care. I can make it from scratch though with the cream and the roux and the butter and the flour and all that other stuff, but you're you're not ready for that, Ron. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's a later date. <laughs> That's a later date. Um, so you, got, you got another idea. Here's another idea, okay? We are so much stuck in our house. I mean, I'm quite sure people are getting cabin fever, stir crazy, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Wherever you live at, unless you live in the flat plains, maybe Wyoming or Idaho, maybe, go find a place. Google map it or download all trails app. Yeah. Get yourself waffles, whipped cream, strawberries, chocolate chips, throw them in the trunk, take a beeline to a cliff. You can find an all trails app, start a fire or a small little grill if you have one. Mm -hmm. You're toasting your waffles right there, slamming the whipped cream on top, watching the sunset, or get some graham crackers, get a marshmallow, get slap it in. Chocolate bar, slap it. Yeah, if you're if you're gonna go for the fire, go for the s'mores. Okay. Oh, go for the s'mores. Okay. Go for the s'mores. There, there, there's no, there's no dispute here. I mean, you don't bother with the waffles and crackers. Just go for the s'mores. Graham crackers, Hershey chocolate, marshmallow. Boom, you're done. Watch the sunset. But you did bring up a really good point, Ron. We do have cabin fever. You live in Washington. There's a lot of people out there who are probably buried in snow right now. And. I have a two bedroom apartment. Oh, oh, by the way, if you hear snoring in the background, it's just the dog. It's not me being, I'm not boring you all. <laughs> I'm not boring you all. It's just the dog. Um, Ron, you live in a house. You normally eat in the dining room. Mm -hmm. So what's stopping you from taking a blanket and maybe uh, uh, moving it to a totally different room and creating your picnic area in a totally different room that you don't spend a lot of time in? You know what? It gives me two. That gives me actually two ideas. So first idea I can do is I have two floors. I have a living room, main floor downstairs where the kitchen is, dining room table, everything. I have a second floor, which I never spend time in. Open up a big blanket, picnic basket, real cheese sandwich. There I go. Or I'm in kind of uh, Washington, so I live more northern Seattle than Seattle. So the people out here have more spaces. Outside is a brick kind of um, a fire pit, mm -hmm. if it's not rainy, of course, go outside, throw some wood in there, and there I go. That's and there you go. And you've got the s'mores. And if you really wanted to be fun, there's nothing wrong with saying, honey, okay, you're all dressed up, like, or tell her what the dress code is, get her to the front door, blindfold her, and then say, now you have to follow me. And you can take her up the stairs and down the stairs and around the corner and all this other stuff and get to the room to then open up the blindfold. Oh, look, here's our little picnic area. And now for dessert, because it's not raining, we've got s'mores and champagne outside. Yeah, I got planned that 24 hours in advance. Weather up here changes on a dime. So one minute it can be nice, clear skies. Next thing you know, it's overcast. Or if it's clear skies, you're talking about 35 degrees outside. So mm -hmm. it's it's warm. Or, because I'm so close to a lot of snow, so Mount Vernon is pretty much the whole cap is white. Right. It's like ice cream cones, it's all white. Take it out, drive out there. Um, you know, people don't realize taking these long drives, especially on the I-5 or the one down in California, I think, mm -hmm. on the one that's on the coast, yep. those places that you can now, I think California's getting a little warm too, top down, enjoy the coast, and it costs you nothing. Yeah, just your gas. That's it. Your gas. So here's a point. Why are not people, I wonder now at restaurants not even being open. So we've got to add this in there. Out here in Washington, restaurants inside, not open. And it rains and it's cold. So nobody is jumping at the bit to go out there and sit outside when it's raining and it's 35 degrees outside, or maybe 28, depending on where, you, where you're at. Maybe California they're, doing a lot of, they're doing a lot of takeout, though. Sorry to interrupt. Of, yeah, doing a lot of takeout. So you can order takeout. But I like the idea of actually making something and being creative. Mm -hmm. Go to a grocery store buying her favorite foods or you guys share something together and just cooking over the stove, making her dinner and 
that's because you know what here's the, the point we're trying to make is love does not have to be the bigger to give the more love exactly and a lot of people want to connect on different levels so say for example you buy your significant other a brand new uh, pair of shoes there's nothing we're, we're going to use a shoes app especially if it's high heels there's no place open right now to go out and dress up so you don't buy dresses so most people are not buying high heels and they're not buying expensive purses they're not buying jewelry they're barely buying makeup they're not buying none of stuff there's nowhere to go so what can you do at home because you now can't go outside anyways or unless you wear a mask or wear shorts or clothes i think these are great ideas for those that are at home and invite your significant other over Mm -hmm. Now there's a caveat to this. So we're talking about people that are in relationships or dating somebody they know. Mm -hmm. What about those out there that have just trying to find somebody, trying to date and doing Zoom dating or whatever it is they're doing now. I think not the match I heard on, on the radio the news that they're doing Zoom. So you have a link, you click on, you see a person looks like versus the in person. So how do you do a Valentine's Zoom call with somebody? What are your ideas, Denise? Well, I think it's important to, I think it's important to try and look your best, obviously, until you get to know them. Um, I, you know, maybe it's just something simple like, um, okay, yeah, I know, I'm guilty. I always have my can of soda. Coke and a smile. Coke and a smile. <laughs> Coke and a smile. <laughs> put it in a wine glass. Just put it in a bubble glass. You know, make it a little more. My son loves um, the Martinelli's sparkling cider. He's now taken, he will only drink it out of a wine glass, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. This is, this is my, what, fifth Valentine's Day as a single person. And I've come up with nothing but donuts the last five years. I'm... <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty out of touch. I, I, I don't know what the answer is um, other than just putting your best foot forward and, um, you know, make it fun. And one of the reasons why I went to the comfort food of like the mac and cheese and the grilled cheese sandwiches, all that other stuff, Ron, I know I've been a chef for 18 years. A lot of people wouldn't invite me over for dinner because they're intimidated. I don't care if you serve me shit on a, a shit on a shingle. As long as I don't have to cook it, I'm happy to clean up. You're happy to clean up. And if it comes from your heart and if that's your best dish, I'm gonna love it because it's from you. From the heart. So oh. these I got now you got me got me going a lot of ideas. <clears throat> if you're doing Zoom dating out there right now, mm -hmm. first thing is look your best. So get a fresh haircut, shave if you shave. If you're a lady, do your hair, maybe do your makeup, or at least the top half up looks awesome. Yeah, absolutely. What you could do is if you're gonna do Zoom dating on Valentine's Day. Find out, you have two choices here. The person you're courting are going to date, what's their favorite dessert? Let's say, for example, they order like Oreo cookies. Mm -hmm. You can go to Safeway.com or wherever it is, or my, hey, you know what? I'm gonna send you a favorite box of Oreo cookies. And on Valentine's Day, I'm gonna have one, you're gonna have one. We have a glass of bubbly or a coconut smile, and we eat Oreo cookies. Or a glass of milk. Or a glass, glass of milk. Yeah, you absolutely. That's simple. Yeah. The second thing you can do too is, you can find out if you guys like alcoholic beverages. Bring your favorite alcohol beverage to the actual Zoom call. And you can have toast. You know, Absolutely. Toast through Zoom, right? And mm -hmm. there you go. But yeah. I think bring the best foot forward, dress your best if you haven't in a while, fresh haircut, shave, clean up, have a nice fresh shirt on or dress, whatever you want to wear, at least the top half. And bring your favorite dessert or favorite food. If they like cooking too, maybe they cook the favorite dish and bring it so you guys can actually show each other who cooks the best, right? Just make a game out of it. Yeah. And it's not even who cooks the best, but you know, this is what I this is what I can do. Um, and I like the Oreo cookie idea because you know, we have, there are so many good desserts out there. I, I you know, I see these boxes with the hearts and the, you know, all this other stuff. It's like, come on, man. This is just repackaged from Christmas. It's the same freaking chocolate. And all they do Crap is chocolate. Rice. The, the Pepperidge Farm Milano cookies look, work just as well for me. Mm. You know? Right. Can of, Pring can of Pringles, that's it. I'm sold. You know? <laughs> I know. And by the way, take a step back because your hand might go down my throat as I get to eat them. <laughs> so, you know, um, it, it, it just doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be big. It just has to be meaningful and from your heart. And 
Um, you know, they had when the pandemic first started, uh, there were people who hadn't used their dining room table in years. It was used as like the other office and how they cleaned off the dining room table, got all dressed up and brought out the family china and had fancy dinners with the family for the first time in years because it was not, it felt like they were in a restaurant. Um, there was a British couple who, you know, got all dressed up as a waiter and the one parent was the waitress and the dad was the cook and made little menus for their kids for dinner. I mean, there's so many creative things that you can do that just don't cost a lot of money um, that will, that are from your heart. So. And that's the main thing about Valentine's Day, regardless of you're with somebody, been married for hundred years, or you're just dating someone new, or you're trying to do Zoom dating, anything you do is just come from the heart. Yeah. Because really, I, think, I do, sorry, Ron, but I do believe that every day should be Valentine's Day. Because yeah. every day we should be treating someone that you love and care about, whether you're dating or married for a long time, you should love them. You should care for them. It, you know, every day should always be a surprise. Every day should be doing something nice and it doesn't have to be a gift. It doesn't have to be a gesture. Just Ron, thanks so much for cleaning up the kitchen. Thanks I for guess sharing is caring. Up. Yeah, sharing is caring. That's the main thing I think when you should focus on this year. Instead of giving gifts, just show someone you love them. Just show someone you yep. care. So show somebody that you're interested. Show somebody that, hey, I'm in this like, like you are. Let's communicate, let's connect. Yeah. And that's, and don't spend a lot of money. Don't yeah. spend, showing someone you care about them requires zero investment, but the true you, that's all you're investing. Yeah. And if someone's there to, to expose themselves as far as how they feel on the inside about you, that's the best thing because actually from there is the first stepping stone in growing together, healthy wise, mm -hmm. mentally and physically in a brand new relationship. Mm -hmm. I had a guy in college, we were dirt poor, we were dirt poor. Of course we were, because we were college students. He yeah. made me a card. He drew me a bouquet of flowers on a separate, so he was like, here's your card, here's your bouquet of flowers. And I don't know, I can't remember, there was something with food. I can't remember if he like made up a little menu that I got to tick my box. And I mean, basically it was ramen. That was all he could cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ramen. Heart middle. Beef flavored, chicken flavor, you know, whatever. But, but it was cute and it was fun. And he brought out the nice dishes and we didn't eat off of paper plates. And, you know, it was nice. And it was from his heart. I just I just remembered that, just talking about all this. See, and you said yeah. like that happened so long ago, you remember because it was something special for you. Mm-hmm, yeah. That's all that matters right now, guys, is show the recipient of that they're special and you care about them a lot. That yeah. means the most. That this yeah. means the most. I got all these ideas with my head right now. What I can be doing Valentine's Day when it comes here in ten days, and it costs me zero dollars to spend any money. I think that's much better for me. Yeah. Well, think about it. At the beginning of the broadcast, at the beginning of this our session here today, you were talking about you have ten days to order the roses, book the restaurant, do this, get a nice shirt, do dry clean, whatever. And you know what, Ron? Now you've just solved it. How are you going to have fun? on a shoestring budget. Oh, I know I'm gonna have fun. I'm not spending any money because I don't do none of that now. I'm just thinking, how can I dress up? How can I go on a nice drive? Because I'm here in Washington. There's a lot of places you can go on a nice drive, depending mm -hmm. on the weather. Or just go on a drive and connect. You go on a drive and a cup of coffee. You know, we go on a drive. We maybe, you know, stop somewhere, look at the sunset, or we go to Mount Vernon. I haven't been there yet. Just doing something together is the main key to achieving that Valentine's Day love. Doing something mm -hmm. with someone you care about, be it virtually or being in person, but spending quality time. I mean, that's the best thing. So yeah. those out there listening, I hope you guys learned something. If you're on a shoestring budget or you've had zero in your pocket, mm -hmm. plenty to do. Think outside the box. You don't spend a lot of money. Be creative, ask questions and do something you haven't done in a very long time. I mean, dress like waiters and make kids menu was just an awesome idea. Or just dressing up, like going somewhere blindfold, you're gonna write to the dining room table you haven't used in a couple of years, bring out the fancy champagne or the bottle of wine and you're pouring each other by wine and it's having laughs and candlelight dinner using your managed jar if you need to. 
and that's yeah, how you exactly. do it. Absolutely. And there's a, there's a perception. I, I, I really believe that Valentine's Day has been really trumped up by Hallmark um, in years uh, because I like getting flowers every day of the year. Doesn't have to be Valentine's when they're triple the price. And oh, as, yeah, much same as, flowers. Like, as much as I, as much as I want to keep this economy going and keep people in jobs, you know, let's be a little bit more realistic here. Um, because I think, yeah, just, just be from your heart, be kind from your heart. Like I said, be real, be kind from your heart. And that doesn't cost you a damn thing. Mm -hmm. But the, so get, words, the, what you get back from that is huge. It Absolutely does. Huge. Well, cause you know what, what it really does is that if you come from the heart, it shows the other person how much you care. They they want to open up their heart even more to show you how much they care as well. So you actually get gain so much out of that versus just buying a piece of materialistic stuff or going to a fancy restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know, do something outside the box and show a person you care about them genuinely from the heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for all you guys and girls out there, for all you men and women out there, there will be no football to distract you on February 14th. <laughs> no. there, there may be hockey, there may be basketball, but there's no football. There will be no baseball. So, and it is on a Sunday. So get creative. You will have all of these things open to you. There's no work to involve, to distract you either. So get your thinking caps on and go have some fun. No excuses. No excuses, no excuses. to jump from the heart. So my name is Ronald Johnson and thank you for listening to another He Said, She Said. And what I do is I help people to are tired of who they are, where they're in life. And if you can find me under www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com, click on the discovery call so that way you can feel better. And I'm Denise Lewis and I'm at www.grandslamcoaching.com. And I wanna help you make every day a Grand Slam day. And I want you to knock it out of the park. Of the park. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. It never gets old. I'm sorry. It will one day, but not today. So, not today. <laughs> yep. But everybody <clears throat> have a great week. Have a great Valentine's Day. Go Chiefs on the Super Bowl. Ron, do you want to make a little bet with me? Casual bet? Yeah, I know what. In this case, I like always go for the underdog. Let's go for Brady. All right. Next time we meet in person, loser buys coffee oh coffee, i love it coffee tea whatever the drink of choice is hot chocolate i don't really care okay i'll buy coffee if i lose i'll buy coffee next time in person that's for sure and if and if i lose i shall buy coffee as well okay <laughs> i love it i love it all Thanks, right Denise. okay see you soon bye all right. bye guys have a good week <laughs>